the only thing that's going to change is you and for the better that should be like an intro or something <laughs> welcome to my channel hi hello welcome to my channel i am chef Aliza, and if this is your first time watching my video i'm so happy to have you here and i can't wait to see all the great things we get to together when you subscribe so please if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you can know when a new video is up thank you so much so let's just get right into this video all right so i'm going to keep looking down because i have all the notes on my phone and i forget things a lot so i just have everything written down so i don't forget like important details that i need to share with you watching this video so if you clicked on this video i believe you're looking for a culinary school in nigeria in ibadan to be precise and you're just looking for like several options so you can make the best choice so in this video i'm going to be sharing the culinary school that i went to which is a recent school of hospitality and i'm going to be sharing my experience there and just kind of like letting you know what to expect if you do decide to go to the same school I don't have like official video of Orison School of Hospitality, but I found this video on YouTube, so I'll just take like snippets and put it here to show you what the school looks like. I wanted to study culinary arts, but I couldn't afford to go outside the country to study culinary arts. So I looked here and there, like just for an affordable culinary school. You know, culinary schools are just generally on the high side, like. For most people they're above most people's budgets i don't want to say it's expensive because it's just affordability thing yeah so i was just looking for a culinary school that's going to be affordable and will not stress my parents too much because i understood like their financial status at the time so yeah so that's when the search began first of all i definitely was not going to leave ibadan because like that's also extra expenses but i really wanted to go to the red dish but i really wanted to go to reddish why am i stammering <laughs> but i really wanted to go to reddish chronicles but that was just way above the budget at the time so after searching here and there i tried like maybe five different schools like actually enrolled and attended the class but like they were not just teaching what i expected the culinary school to teach because i watched master chef a lot so i kind of knew a lot of things already yeah so like I knew how to do the, like the basic cooking. I just wanted to improve my skills and like be able to cook amazing food on my own and understand what I'm doing and like just create masterpieces, so to speak. Yeah. So after searching here and there, I googled culinary schools in Ibadan and I saw Orison School of Hospitality. Now the issue when I saw Orison School of Hospitality was it was hospitality. Like I want only culinary. Do you get? So I was like. Why is it the whole package? I don't want the whole package. I want just the culinary arts. But yeah, we made phone calls to the school. I spoke with the director and I just felt interested because she spoke really well. She speaks really well because she's still the same director as at the time I'm recording this video. So yeah, I was just interested. Well, okay, well, this is not the usually bad or vibe. So yeah, so we I went with my parents to check out the school. As soon as we entered, we're like, mm, this is way better than what we've been seeing this is so much better so i loved the environment i loved the atmosphere it was very clean and serene and it was just giving excellence yeah so we got in she spoke to us and explained like the whole thing to us which i'm going to explain later in this video and yeah so i took the form she showed us around the school and i was like i'm impressed so yeah I enrolled and I joined Orison School of Hospitality. At the time, registration was 1,000 Naira. I will find out the current price and put it somewhere in this video as well. By the time, registration form was just 1,000 Naira. That was in 2016. That's like eight years ago. <laughs> so yes, I paid immediately and I registered. And then the total fees at the time was like 120K. I'm very sure it's higher than that now. So I'll find out that as well and let you know in the... On the video here or in the description or something so yes and then it was you could do instrumental payments like, that's how convenient it was it is you could do instrumental payments so like six thousand five hundred naira per week crazy crazy yeah so it was just so perfect within the budget like even if i wanted to like like it was just so easy to do but 
well, it's, it's not really a bot, but it is kind of a bot. You have to live in the school. So it's like fully residential course. Um, that There was options at the time for one year or two years. And I chose one year because I didn't want to be like away from the world for that long. And I also did, we were not planning we we're not planning to stay in Nigeria for too long. It was just like a temporary thing. I was like, okay, let me just study this culinary arts here in Nigeria while we work on like papers and all that stuff. Yeah. So I just did one year. And yeah, so I'll break that down. So yeah, the duration was for a year. And that one year is divided into like semesters, kind of like semesters. So like four semesters per department. So we have the food production department, food beverage service department, and then the laundry. And yeah all the stuff <laughs> what am i forgetting anyways yeah you get it the food production department did like the cooking the whole culinary arts and that's four months in the one year that's if you're doing one year and then the laundry and all the other housekeeping stuff is also four months and then the food and beverage service that's like um how do i explain it to a lean man now um washing plates um drinks um food service you know you're the one who takes the food to the table you know chefs don't take food to the table themselves so like the waiters and all those kind of things yeah so that's it so those are the three those are the three departments so you do four months in each department so if you're doing two years you do four months in each department in your first year and then you do four months in each department in your second year but the difference is in the first year you're the, you're learning in the second year you're basically just doing all that you've learned do you get so it's amazing and there's no way you'd leave the school on impacted if that's a word like you leave the school fully equipped fully equipped yeah you can run a hotel yourself really and train your own staff that's how good it is a recent school of hospitality is a catholic school founded by opus day and it's fully catholic yes of course so there's the oratory there's the church yeah in simple english there's a church so there's mass every morning and there's like retreats and several stuff so that's just like the background story so it's a full hospitality package and it's a catholic school so the daily schedule is you wake up around 5 a.m everyone has their bath we go into the oratory have mass and after mass we come out and do breakfast and then we clean up the house there's a daily schedule for the day follow the shadow, clean whatever area you're assigned to. And then after cleaning, you chill a bit. I think there's chilling time. I don't even remember. It's been it's been seven years since I came out, okay? So yeah, you chill a little bit or something. And then you go and start your shadows for the day. You do, if you're in charge of the food production, you go to your department, laundry goes to their department, food service goes to their department. So yes, everyone has what to do for the day. Everything has to end by two, basically. So you're eating, lunchtime is 1 p.m. So yeah, you do all that in your department. Everybody comes together for lunch and then you have lunch and everything is done. Cleaning, everything is done by 2 p.m. Then you have like classes and like break time from 2 to like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Yeah, and then after that, everyone goes to do dinner. Like during the 10 to 2 a.m., if you're in the food, food production department, you've already prepped for dinner. So what you're coming to do by 6 p.m. is just to like finish up and make sure the food is ready in time for 7 p.m. So dinner is 7 p.m. That's at the time I was there. I don't remember exactly the details because it's been a long time, but yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> so yes, um, do all that. And yeah, the day ends around 7 p.m. And then we have like um, together time downstairs in the parlor. And everyone just plays games or you watch a movie on weekends. We watch a movie on weekends. Not every weekend, but like most weekends we watch a movie. But other days of the week, we're just playing, having fun, gisting, and just getting to know each other. So we're not just like working, 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 and there's no time for play. We even do like dance competitions. Yeah, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's basically what happens in the day. And yeah, there's also a rule of no phones after a specific time. So we submit our phones every night. I don't know if that still happens. Yes. Yeah, so um, now what it's like being in Orison. It's an all-female school and we have uniforms, we have supervisors and there's like a um, periodic retreat for each student just for like, like three days just for you to like focus on God. You're not cooking, you're not cleaning, you're not doing... Well, you're cleaning, of course, you have to clean where you stay. But you're not doing like vigorous activities. You're just focused on God and coming to eat. And yeah, it's fun. 
I think my set was the best set. I know everybody's going to say that. But I met so many people and like we were all just so amazing in their own different ways. My roomies were the best. Hi Chef Lizzie, if you watch this video. And hi Evangeline. Evangeline was never really my roommate, but we were just so close that we we're always together and we thought we were roommates. <laughs> so we met recently and we're like I were introducing ourselves to her for like she was my roommate. And it was after that we we're like, oh wait. We we're not actually roommates. Anyways, that's by the way. So yes, my two favorite people in the school. And then there was another faith as well. Yeah. And then there was no let me mention names. So if I don't forget, if I forget one person, she will not be offended. Well, I think I can remember everybody. Olaide, Veronica, Buki, Chinaza, um, Asampete. What's my Asampete's real name now? Wait. Do. I just spoke to her now. This is the problem. This is the problem. Um, Chioma, Ogechi, yes, Ogechi. Um, who else now? Evangeline, I mentioned Evangeline, I mentioned Chef Lizzie, Olaide. I think I mentioned Olaide. Yeah, I feel like there's someone I'm forgetting. I'm sorry. Bless him. I am so sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's blessing that I forgot. So, blessing. Hi, this video. I did this video just for you. Yeah. Hi, blessing. So it was just so fun to meet all of them, and then we we, we just really bonded because we're always together. Of course, we had fights. We we're girls. There were fights. There were arguments. But like we always made up. We fought with our supervisors. Our supervisors fought with us. Just normal issues that happens when you lock women in a place, basically. So yes, it was fun. And then there are also like excursions that we go on, like just to see other industrial um cooking spaces so like we visited restaurants hotels just like see how all that we're learning is all that's been done in other hospitality industries and just connect it was just such a good experience and i'll just say you can never regret like maybe while you're inside you would wish like you never came but that's just because of the pressure of being in one location for too long it happens to every human but like when you come out, you realize how much all that you have learned has actually impacted you and you like just want to just give to the society and just you just realize that man, I know a lot of things. I know a lot of things. Yeah, so we have uniforms. Um, everyone wears the same thing. We have chef uniforms and then we have like house uniforms. But like for mass, we dress up. And for like if there are special locations like Christmas and all these things, we also dress up. Or if there's like a birthday party, we dress up. Like we make the parties the parties and we the work is the work. And um yeah, we have supervisors, all our supervisors are females. We all live together in the same building. So like, yeah, there's that connection. And we have like uh, counseling sessions as well with them. So like if there's any issue yeah, that's bothering you, they can always just go to your supervisor and talk to her. Also, I want to use this period, this medium, sorry, to thank all my supervisors and everyone that I spent the time with during that period. Thank you so much for everything you taught us and everything that you do and all the professionalism and excellence and just everything all together. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope each of you get to watch this video. Auntie Jane, Auntie Ne, Auntie Oluchi. Anti Sobe, Anti Uche, Anti Kamaka, Anti Benedicta as well. Thank you so much. It's like 70% practical and 30% theory. So now we come in the evenings to the theory aspects of what we've been practicing during the day. This is not a department thing, this one is like general for everyone. So we have textbooks for each department, yeah, which is amazing. I've been going through the textbooks over the years, and every time I feel like I'm forgetting something, I just go back and read up, and yeah, in July. They had a competition, so I was invited as a judge to come and check out the students. I'm going to be showing that video here as well. This video is packed. I hope I'll be able to organize it properly. So yeah, so I'm going to be showing that here as well. The school is having a competition for students across several schools. And today is the final or the finale of the competition. So I'm here as one of the judges to judge their cooking and their plating and all that stuff. Yeah, just like Master Chef, but for Orison. Yes, everything you need because once you finish shopping, it goes. Anything you don't pick, that's the end. That is the end. So if you go there and you pick pepper, you didn't pick salt, 
This is team five and they're making fried rice. This is team two, they're making jello fries. And this is team one, they're making rice and some sort of sauce. We marinated the chicken, then we stir fried. So yeah, life lessons from Orison. Number one, um, I learned how to live with other people. So like up until Orison, I've only lived with my family members. I've never like done hostel or boarding or anything like that. So this was like my first boarding school experience or my first time away from home. So yeah, I actually did really good. I'm an amazing person. I don't mean to be proud, but yeah, I am. <laughs> So yes, um, I learned how to live with people, how to just settle conflicts. Yeah, so I also learned like um, how to live with men. Okay, so this might sound weird. Of course, we are all female. It's not like we live with men in the school, but like we also did like um, housekeeping for the like male hostel and stuff. So yeah, I learned how organized or disorganized men can be like for example the site that we cleaned every day there was a time i was assigned to clean like a passage a balcony yeah so like the that's where the um guys keep their shoes so i would arrange the shoes like every single morning and the next morning i come the shoe is already scattered <laughs> And I also still have to iron it because I'm being marked, I'm being judged, so I have to do the best I can do, yeah? But I just learned that men are kind of, can be, not all men are like this, but like most men are not really organized, yeah? So I learned like how to just handle both genders. And uh, yeah, we're also taught and prepped on like marriage and all these things. There was like, there were several classes, like sort of, like sort of mini conferences, yeah? I hope this my juice is sweet because I'm hungry and tired. Let me drink water. I actually paused this video for a while because my battery died. How to prepare your mind if you decide to go to Orison. Um, First of all, nothing is going to change after you come out of Orison, like in the world that you left behind. The only thing that's going to change is you and for the better. That should be like an intro or something. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're the one who will change for the better because now you've been inside like just excellence and knowledge day and night for minimum one year. So like you just have so much up there. Like you have, your eyes have been opened to things you did not know before. The things you were doing before, self, even like when you get back and you realize, oh, this is what I was doing. You're like, ah, that was not right. Or like, how was I doing that? Uh, yeah, but... It's just, you just come out a better person. That's just, it's long story short. You come out a better person. You come out fully equipped to handle any business in the hospitality industry. Whatever department you find yourself in, you can function and function at your best. That's it. You don't need any other training. So you just tell yourself as you're going in, if you do decide to go, the hospitality industry is a lot of work a lot and there's always going to be surprises there's always going to be you you will be tired you will get tired that's just what hospitality is because you're open every day of the week all through the year in fact you're more busy 
on holidays because you're the one serving all the people that are coming over on holidays basically so just look at it that way if you think about it restaurants hotels they open every day of the week uh, yeah and it's people that make it work so that's basically the experience you're getting at Orison as well and also i want to add that as if you go to Orison or if you're just coming out of Orison and you're watching this video just because maybe it popped up or something um start influencing others as soon as possible start creating content as soon as possible i think i also started creating content as soon as possible like i wasn't pushing as much and i wish i pushed more of course i wasn't pushing not because i didn't want to but just because like my phone spot and all these things but like i saw a video of a lady the other day i was borrowing somebody else's phone to record and i was like someone even offered me to borrow the phone but i was like don't let me stress you i should have let him let i should have stressed him but anyways yeah so that's what i mean just start creating content start dishing out the knowledge you have in there everything, everything is still fresh in your memory so like even you can go back and watch your own videos and refresh yourself, yeah? All right, so now you're getting the entire hospitality package. Like I said, the departments and all that stuff. As a staff of very soon, you come out and you can work in any hotel. You can watch in, work in any food and beverage industry. You can even work in other culinary schools teaching people. Like, yeah, because you've already basically done your chef training and everything. And you're a chef as well. So yes, you can even start your own training school. You can, the opportunities are endless. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please leave a comment, share this video to anybody who's interested in, is, who's looking for a culinary school in Ibadan. And let me, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I go through the comments. I'm not so big yet. So I have time to read your comments and reply every single comment. So yeah. I believe that's it. I believe I've said everything. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in the next one. Did you subscribe? Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can know when a new video is up. Bye.